Hey guys, welcome to the video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a new genre, one that I don't normally make, and that is going to be boom bap. The reason I decided to make boom bap is I was watching a video by Eldre where he was making a beat and he mentioned that he really liked stolen drums, drum kit, uh, slappy drums. And I had never heard of him before. So I checked out his website, I checked out his YouTube channel, and I was super inspired by his beats that he makes. And I really loved the way they sounded. So I bought the pack and and this was a good opportunity to try a new genre, which is something I really don't normally do. I usually try and stick within the realm of sort of trap, hip hop beats. But today I wanted to take a step outside of that and try and shift my beat making process to fit in a new genre. So we're gonna see how it goes and what kind of things I can come up with. And we're gonna be using, of course, Stolen Drums Do Drum Kit, which I will link in the description if you wanna check it out. Without any further ado, let's get into Ableton and get into the video. So I think one of the first things to talk about with making boom bap is, well, obviously the drums are gonna be sort of the focus. So if I go into some of the drums we got here, uh, let's pick out a kick and a snare to base our beat around. And a hi-hat. In this video, I'm going to be using my Akai drum pads a lot. Uh, I don't have a camera on them, so you're just gonna have to infer what I'm doing, but basically it's got 16 pads on it, the way that we have set up on the drum rack here in Ableton, and I'm just gonna be using that to play in a lot of the sounds that we're using today. Let's see if we can find an open hat as well. All right, cool. So what I just did there was kind of level out all these drums in the mixer inside of drum rack, just so that everything sounds a little more natural. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put a glue compressor on the drum rack so that we can have everything sound a little bit more comprehensive, like it's all being played together. And I might wanna go a little bit aggressive with this compressor. And in fact, I might wanna also add on a soft clipper. And for that, I'm gonna use Cymatic's Diablo Lite, which is free and I'm gonna turn down the output quite a bit. Cool, and I think I might actually switch out this kick. And actually, instead of lowering the output, I'm gonna keep the output all the way up and put another clipper on. Or actually, I guess I'll just use the soft clipper in glue compressor. Yeah, to drive a little bit more. Hmm, maybe a different snare. Oh, uh, okay, so let's also get in like a tambourine because I always find those to be kind of sick. Oh, I think I'm gonna add just some quick reverb to that snare. I think the other thing I'm going to do is add on a tiny bit of reverb to the whole drum group. All right, cool. The last thing I'm going to add is going to be Docka Set because it just makes things sound better, especially when they are loud. Okay, so let me go ahead and resample that.
All right, so let's probably putting some drums over that. Wow, this is so good. Let's go 90. All right, um, I kind of like this, but I don't really like this melody. So I'm, <laughs> I'm actually gonna go in and get something else. Ooh, let's put in a little like thing there. All right, so that is pretty much the finished beat. As always, I will play it for you guys in a second. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty short, but just a quick experiment going into a new genre. I tried to keep it really simple because generally speaking, when you're dealing with any genre of hip hop, the simpler beats are gonna be the ones that are more evocative when paired with a really hard hitting set of vocals from a talented rapper. So keep it simple. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Come on.